Welcome to Fun Electronics Today! I am amazed to find out every day there are so many people out there who would like to find out more about 3D printing. The best way and the cheapest way to start is to go for a Mendel or a Prusa printer in my opinion. They are certainly not the best types of printers on the market but surely they offer the best price to quality ratio. Nowadays they don't even sell under the name of Mendel anymore but instead the market is full of iterations of them like Anet or many other names. At least this is how I started back in 2015 building myself a Prusa i2. Since then I was able to improve my printer and to redesign many of the parts to suit my needs. And I know there are some persons out there who are taking exactly the same baby steps in achieving the necessary 3D printing skills and experience. For all of you who are interested, I want to post my designs to Thingiverse and I'm going to add links to all of them in the description of this video. Let's start with the first part. I designed myself a dual MK8 extruder. This dual extruder is also fitted with air ducts that are using the air from the hot end heat sinks. They don't need extra fan and this is saving some of the total mass of the extruder. Although this was initially designed for Prusa i2, it can easily be adapted to Prusa i3 also. End stop holders. They are extremely easy to print out of one piece. They click into position and they grab the 8mm rods so well you can even use them without nuts and bolts. Springy legs. They totally reduce the vibrations released into the table and this makes your printer much more silent. This also helps with the ripple effect on the surface of the 3D printed objects. Heat bed safe adjusters. Unlike many other similar parts, these turning adjusting wheels are having some safety pins. In order to rotate them more than 180 degrees, they must be pressed down first. This prevents unscrewing the nuts due to vibrations and keeps the heated bed leveled for a longer time. Spool holder. Probably the easiest and smoothest moving spool holder that doesn't require ball bearings. The movement is very precise and the entire mechanism requires nothing but a single leftover 8mm rod piece. Power supply holder. This holder consists of three or four triangular pieces that can be zip tied into position on any two adjacent threaded rods. Prusa volume enlarger. These parts allow for a larger volume inside the triangular shape of the Prusa i2 frame and also increases the printing height by allowing the carriage to go higher on the Z axis. Thanks for watching and as usual, don't forget to subscribe and leave your comments below.